at 1 o'clock at the Jacksonville FBI office off Gate Parkway. Action News Jax will be there to bring you the very latest. Now, this comes while a lawsuit is on the way related to the hate crime and the Dollar General mass shooting. The new lawyer for one of the victims, Angela Carr, hired noted civil rights attorney John Phillips. And he is calling out city and state leaders for what he calls a lack of accountability and transparency. Action News Jax Logan McDonald shows us why Phillips says he'll be suing the Dollar General and the family of the gunman on behalf of the Carr family. John Phillips, the legal representation for the Angela Carr family, one of the three victims in that shooting at the Dollar General in Newtown, now calling out city and state officials for a lack of transparency, as well as JSO and local law enforcement, demanding that the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office release the findings of their investigation within the next 10 days, citing a lack of updates and information given to the family throughout the investigation. Phillips also alleges in a letter to city officials that they set up a charity fund which was, quote, not charity, which lacked accounting and transparency and frankly interfered with the victim's own ability to fundraise. Phillips has made a public records request for all emails, texts, and other communications that led up to the visual that included city and state elected officials the day after the shooting. Phillips also wants details on the charity fund that was talked about that day. And Action News Jax will provide any updates on this ongoing development as we receive them. For local coverage, you can count on reporting from Newtown. Logan McDonald, Action News Jax. City Council